everybody, Martin at Flickin' Feathers again today, and I'm tying Ray Bondaroo's Marabou Sandio. Now it's a slightly forgotten pattern, I would say nowadays, but it's absolutely deadly. It's a great imitation of small sandios, up, up to about that size, about two and a half, three inches, three matchsticks when they're juvenile. It's a very, very effective pattern indeed, um, and it's good for sort of training yourself to tie sparse flies and also they have confidence in these wee sparse flies. As always, I'll put a materials list in the description along with a link to the Patreon page for anybody that wants to support the channel. Get access to the members only content, the online fly tying classes and enter the giveaways. Alternatively, like the video, share the video watch all the way to the end and of course subscribe and hit the bell button so you get notified of the new videos so I've got a hook in my vice this is a Gamakatsu S10S size 2 um, you want something kind of shortish in the shank decent gape no too heavy in the wire now, the original dressing and uh, streamers and stripers is for light green monocord but I'm using olive uni um, as long as you're sort of there about with the colour it's fine and I'm going to start with some white marabou and I want to keep it really thin like here I've got maybe well I could count them I've got 12 that's maybe too many actually, I'll take a couple away. Right. The idea with this fly basically, if you think you've tied it too thin, you've probably got it about right. So I'll just set my length. So it'll be the same as the one before. You know, that's at a two and a half, two and three quarter inch. I've got one that's just a wee bit longer, so I'll just pinch that. Two or three turns is plenty to hold that there. And I'm going to take two pieces of pearl flash. Any old flash will do. You know, just ordinary flash abuse is fine. Get them right on top. Another two. There's plenty. And I'll just trim with this the same length at the moment, just so I've got a I'm not struggling. I'm going to get some olive and I want even less olive marabou than I had white. Something that's a bit tricky when you've got these wee, really fine bunches. Something like that, right? That's maybe half a dozen or so. I've got to set that right on top. Right, about the same length. Just lift it, make sure it's sitting there. Make sure your length's right, that's fine. And then I'll just come forward and tidy up. Yeah. Just moisten that to stop it blowing around. But obviously, when you're fishing it and it's in the water, the marabou is open and moving. I'm going to. And the way back down, I'm going to sort of make a loop, like a dubbing loop, and this is going to be my rib to tie in the back. But I just want a single strand. Come up to the front. 
and catch in some pearly braid. Right, this is just a Lagerton pearl mini flat braid, but whatever you like. I'm going to put a half hitch on here. I like a double layer just for a bit of durability and even before that I'm going to come in with some head cement. Now if you're winding a flat tinsel head cement's no any use right because it's not a glue but the braid the cement will actually kind of go in between the fibres and give you a nice mass so I'm just going to use the rotary which is unusual for me but come down just watch that hook point take a straight turn at the back and then work your way forward and you can if you want even sort of fatten it up a wee bit by letting the, the wraps over overlap Start to build that wee bit taper. Don't overdo it though. Again, like you want, you want this to be skinny and sparse. Get up the front, and that's good. Catch it. I'll fold that back. Couple of wraps, plenty. Come in close. And then the last thing I want for the back is like a couple of bits of peacock herald. Three, no more. No more than three. And I don't worry too much about how it looks, look what direction it's going as soon as you fish it and swim it, it all kind of gets swept in fine because there's no any shape or form to it like holding it together so just measure it length of the marabou and that's fine, the three tons is plenty And you can use a wee bit of moisture just to control things. Take your first wrap straight over the back, then come up even wraps, catch them off. Fold it back. Took away the waist. Now you can keep your thread tight probably and just snap away the the peacock heralds. Give you a nice clean cut. And then make a wee neat head. See an eye length. Just tidy it up. Then what finish? I'll just trim this uh, flash a boo or whatever it is, crinkle flash to length. A wee spot of head cement on the head. And that's it. Very, very easy. Very, very simple, but very, very effective. Now, designed for striped bass, but there's plenty of fish feed on sand eels. I'm sure if you fish for sea run trout and all that, this would be a great fly for them as well. Um, but, like, it's just simple, skinny, classic pattern, well worth tying, because it will catch you a ton of fish. Make sure you put the wee bit of cement in and it lasts pretty long as well. So, hope that was useful, hope you enjoyed it. If you did, remember to give me a thumbs up below and subscribe to the channel. 
Hit lanes, guys. Bye.